Shout out to Marco Pajana, Noble Brown, Dan Real, AMG, Amada Alcusa, and Alfredo Jr. Here we go, F1 Clash family. We've officially got the update now. Uh, so we're checking it out, uh, seeing what we get. All right, what's new? And we're going to test some stuff and take a look at the update. All right, so there we go. Uh, officially updated. Let me check if we are on update 14. There we go, update 14 at the bottom there. Uh, no releases. I uh, was hoping to see like some form of release note uh, in the inbox there. So we could know what we're going to be looking at or looking for. But yeah, first up uh, to test in the update, we're going to be checking out hard tires. Uh, first up, so yeah, let's jump into a Series 12 race. And we want to see what the hard tires are compared to the soft tires. So we're going to be putting one driver on, on soft and one driver in hard. And we're going to be seeing uh, what are the differences. Uh, with hards and soft we're also going to be taking notes of the ai cars on soft tires also to be noted uh, uh and hard tires uh also to be noted uh is that breakdown is said to be now going to be very rare uh so probably you're going to be getting breakdowns now like how oh here is one of the new tracks uh this is one of the new tracks so that's nice for a first race to be on one of the new tracks here nice qualifiers 11 12 Carlos Sainz and Verstappen. All right, so we're going to be oh, so one is seven lap. I take it the next one is an eight lap race, then. All right, so we're going hard tires on Sainz here, and we want to see how the boat performs on these hards. So we see the rival going for full hards as it's a seven lap race. I see the rest of the pack uh, going for a good amount of hard tires there. So let's see how our R tires perform here. Uh, will our R tires squeeze through? Uh, nope. So if softs are being overtaken by hards here. That's crazy. To see Verstappen on softs getting overtaken at the start there. That's really crazy. We're going to keep the boost on them. We see Verstappen again. Um, most, I think he lost another position uh, to another driver on, on softs. But let's see if, if he's just dropping back. Maybe he's just dropping back. He was in P11. Now he's in P15. He lost four positions. Maybe he's just dropping back here. Uh, so we're going to continue. This track is like a Zandvoort. It has a Zandvoort feel to me. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, but this one has like a Zandvoort feel. I think this one is the Portimao. Uh, it does have that Zandvoort feel, doesn't it? All right, so we've seen our hard tires, our soft tires, hard tires holding their positions. We haven't seen our soft tires pick up any positions, so probably they went a little bit too far. We're still losing positions on these, on these softs. Probably went, they went a little bit too far with the, with the overtaking uh, on hards and softs. As we see, softs are re really struggling here on Verstappen. But let's go back to pit. Keep those hards on boost. We're not gaining too much with those hards. We're not losing too much. Let's go up to regular driving on those hards. So we go to the finish. Oh, I wanted to test zero tires too. So let's not make this video too long. So we're going to run signs out of tires and see how he performs when he's on zero tires to see what zero tires uh, performance is like in the game at this point uh, so he should be out of tires here and then we're going to come back to pit there he's he's is he calling for low fuel already yes he is so we're going to run him to zero tires and then we're going to kind of see the drop off on zero tires how slow is he going to be uh, to complete the track to go back to pit uh, and then we could know uh, have a better idea of zero tires now as uh, zero tires has been given harsher a harsher penalty has been given to zero tires all right so we'll, we'll just have to do a lap of zero tires because he did not make that lap all right so he's now down to zero tires all right, so he dropped off really fast here we're going to come back to pit to softs 
and let's boost out we're stopping and cutting back down to regular driving all right so we're, we're basically still holding good on zero tires not the, the worst it is he is moving a bit slower but he is definitely holding up uh, a few position now he suffers oh he's down to low fuel all right he's down to low fuel all right so low fuel on zero tires wow that's really horrible zero tires and low fuel really horrible here guys so you want to try to not go on zero tires uh, with your drivers you want to try your best not to go on zero tires with your drivers guys as low fuel and zero tires definitely a hundred percent horrible there so you want to try your best not to go on zero tires uh, with your drivers as we can see hard tires are are holding up strong now uh, they're performing really good they did hold up really well uh, for this race are we on the seventh lap just yet no not yet so we're going to cut down to conserve uh, and see even though we're not winning this race anyways uh, but it was a very good test to see with zero tires but hard tires seems to be uh, the new thing uh, we definitely need more testing uh, to see we're going to be doing another race uh, with Lando Norris to see his he got a buff so we're going to be looking at Lando Norris. I should have gotten a screenshot uh, before the update of Lando Norris. That's what I should have done. Uh, and then get a screenshot now so we can compare the stats gained. Uh, damn, should have done that. Didn't get to do that. Oh well. Alright, so we're going to want to test out Lando Norris. So we can see here hard tires are back in the thing. In, in the swing, zero tires again on Verstappen here running on zero tires you don't want to go on zero tires <laughs> zero tires is horrible right now yeah you kind of don't want to run yeah nowadays uh since this first first rule of the new update is not to run on zero tires or not to let your drivers run out of tires all <laughs> right unless you're running them out as less unless you've calculated it perfectly and you're gonna run them out close to the pit lane the pit entrance or uh, right at the pit entrance is where you want to run them out all right uh for our next race we're going to be uh throwing on lando norris here let's check lando norris uh he got a buff in tire management so his tire management is not so bad uh anymore his tire management is now up to he's not better than signs level eight but his tire management is now up to 77 uh at this level what was it previously i don't remember what is it was previously but all i know he he was gaining five percent uh for <clears throat> uh five percent of tires for each level uh to level up to max level all right so he's gonna have an 86 tire management at max level i don't know what it was before i should have gotten that screenshot my bad there uh, but if you guys have not gotten the update yet, leave down in the comments what the tire management of Lando Norris is uh, before update. Uh, so you guys can look in the comments if you see uh, what it was before. All right. <clears throat> so we're going to jump into our next race. We also want to give uh, our fast pit time setup a check uh, to see if there was any impact there. Uh, so the changes was uh, the new tracks. Uh, Lando Norris getting a buff, breakdowns getting uh, rarer, so it's very rare to get a breakdown now. Uh, so uh, that's not a thing. I guess you don't really have to worry about breakdowns uh, too much anymore. Uh, what else was in that release note? Let's jump into another race. I just look at the release note and I don't remember what else. It was a lot of modest, a lot of things, no lie. So we're testing fast pit time to see if anything has changed when it comes to qualifying and fast pit time. Don't want to make this video too long, so we're gonna run this last race here. We have Lando Norris on to see if he has improved in qualifying potential. Uh, since he got one of the qualifying potential stats buff will that give him a better performance boost uh well no 
I guess not. Or, or is it that we're on the fast bit time setup? That's why. Yeah, maybe. So fast bit time is not. Uh, so there, I guess there was no changes to matchmaking or qualifying uh, when it comes to your drivers and setup. So fast bit time is still no good. We can just forfeit this race. It's not a real player anyways. It's not on one of the new tracks anyway, so we could just forfeit this race. So we don't waste too much time. Let's go back to a high performance setup. And let's see, see Lionel Norris's performance with the high performance setup. Uh, will he do better or not? Let's see. All right, let me see if I can pull up the release notes real quick. Hold on. All right, so here are the release notes uh, so that we're going to be looking at for the update. So we got two new tracks, uh, all new Rebop inbox. Yeah, we got an inbox. Uh, changes to overtaking uh, where it comes to hard tires and soft tires. Yeah. And breakdown is less frequent. Yeah. Uh, yeah, increased penalty for zero tires. Yes. Uh, and 5% for Lando Norris. All right, so that was all we got. All right, so we're back to the game. Uh, so now to just check Lando Norris, uh, as we can see, we test zero tires. We've seen uh, that uh, one of the new tracks is a seven lap race and possibly the second one is an eight lap race. Uh, and we've seen uh, that there was no change into uh, the matchmaking system. Uh, so no no going back to fast bit time setups uh we see that uh uh breakdowns uh, are said to be less uh and we final for the final part uh we we see that zero tires are very very painful at this point so you kind of don't want to run uh, your car on zero tires anymore all right so let's jump into this final race and uh, to see we just want to see uh qualifying performance and performance overall driver performance from uh, Norris here and that should be the end of this video checking out the latest update from F1 clash all right so if you haven't gotten the update yet it normally takes about 24 to 48 hours uh, for you to for mostly everyone to get it uh, so if you haven't got it yet uh, just hang in there uh, you probably get it soon all right so no good qualifying potential from Lando Norris there Let's see his driver's potential if that little buff that they gave him with that plus five percent on tire management is going to increase uh his stats or his driver ability let's look all right so nice start from verstappen is it i know norris kind of squeezed himself in there now getting around verstappen here All right, we also want to test conserve, so let's cut down there. Let's see if our drivers are going to be holding positions or conserving. Lando Norris losing two positions or three, uh, including his teammate. Once we cut him down, I think we cut them down into a bad conserve position there. Now we see Lando Norris on on full defense mode, uh, holding the line behind him. There we see those hard tires holding up and not being overtaken uh, or Swiss by like we saw them in the previous update. So they're now holding up strong. So I think a 3-3-2 with hard tires in the middle is going to be super strong or a super strong strategy to run now in the game. But I'll be testing that more on that later on. Make sure you're subscribed for more F1 Clash content and all the latest F1 Clash information and updates. All right, let's go. All right, so we're gonna time it and let's see Verstappen versus Signs on conserve. All right, so hards, softs, uh, Lando Norris getting off the track there. Let's give him a little boost to get him back up uh, on the track, get him back in the map. Let's get him off and conserve crazy. 
Oh, we see Verstappen lost back his position that he gained uh, from the rival Kimi on hearts. And he's now defending. Really nice. I like the new defense mechanism where, where you can see your drivers defending uh, with drivers behind. Oh, we should have gone to pit here. Let's hope we get in with Norris. Yes, we did. We missed pit with Verstappen. Now he's going to run zero tires. And as I said previously, you kind of don't, you want to stay away from running zero tires. So nowadays, if miss pitting and stuff like that are going to be very painful uh, if you miss pit. Unless you can time it perfectly so you only run out right at the finish, at uh, the entrance uh, to the pit lane, it's going to hurt. If it's not at the entrance of the pit lane, it's going to hurt. Here we see we are on a little straight going to the pit lane. Good defense from Verstappen holding up. I think he's going to pit. Nope, they weren't going to pit. Ah, uh, yeah, he was going. Uh, and he basically late pit technique us <laughs> because he was going to pit. And yeah, we were out of tires. So zero tires, crazy right now in the game. Just try to stay away from zero tires as much as you can. Uh, that's going to hurt you a lot. Uh, overall, Ando Norris, uh, I'm not going to be using him at this level. I have better drivers to use. Uh, but if you do have Norris at your level, definitely give him a shot. Uh, he seems to be driving pretty fine uh, to me. He's not doing anything uh, too extreme. Or he's 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 holding up pretty strong uh, with his little buff that he got. Uh, but uh, he's not yet. Ah, come on. Norris just tapped into the back of Ricardo and he just skid off the track there. That was crazy. That was a crazy tap right there. Let's cut him down so he may get back to pit. Uh, rival Kimi will have to come to pit as well. Unless he's going to run zero tires. I'm eager to see. Let me check too. Uh, if the AI cars that normally, normally, you know, AIs love to run zero tires. I wonder if they're still going to be running zero tires now with this update. That's crazy. Let's go into pit here with Norris. All right, so Ricardo come. Wait, who was pitting Ver? Ah, oh, I pit Verstappen. Oh man, I wasn't. Um, that wasn't my intention to pit Verstappen. There, Verstappen shouldn't have been in pit. So I don't know. <laughs> my hand probably touched something while I was laughing away. So yeah, but yeah, good drive from Norris. Uh, as I said, that's basically all you guys need to know about the latest update. Uh, in the game, I'll be coming out, be testing stuff and coming out with new strategy videos uh, later next week. So be on the lookout for that. Or later this week, be on the lookout for that. Uh, and yeah. Tomorrow, Brazilian Grand Prix. Be on the lookout for that. And Thursday will be live on stream. Uh, looking at more stuff. And talking about more stuff that I find out uh, when I'm testing about a new update. Alright. So that's basically going to be it for this one. Let me look at the match. Our matchmaking seems to be okay, fair and nice. Uh, we're not getting any outlandish matchmaking. So it seems like everything is still okay with matchmaking. No problems to counter or to talk about. Let's look what we get in this legendary crate at the end of the video here. Remember to subscribe if you're not. Turn your post notifications. Also remember to smash the like button. Go over to the comment section, uh, the community section. You'll see a post over there on our 13k subs giveaway. Just go type done. Uh, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Get yourself a chance to win 600 bucks. And yeah. One Vettel. One Vettel. Oh my. Well, he's way off. Ah, oh, yes. Yes, we'll take 21CX. <laughs> we'll take that. Definitely. Eight clamp Lewis Hamilton. All right, so we got some cream. All right, so that's basically going to be it for this one. Now, catch you guys in the next one. Let me know down in the comments. Use code word new update to let me know that you made it to this portion of the video. Really appreciate you guys for all your support. Catch you in the next one. Peace.